Beautiful characters, and that's before you even get to somebody like Danny Healy Ray. Oh. What's that for? <laughs> what was that for? Yeah, I don't know. Um, was... And Danny Healy Ray, um, I mean, I think we should stop having elections in this country because every time we have an election, there's more Healy Rays sprouting up all over the place. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to reach, reach peak Healy Ray. I think by, if we keep going at this level, I think by 2018, every constituency in the country will have a Healy Ray in it. Yeah. And people always come up to me and they say, God, you must be having great crack with uh, Danny Healy Ray. And I kind of go, no, not really. And they go, why? And I went, well, how can I make Danny Healy Ray more bizarre than he already is? <laughs> I mean, Danny Healy Ray is way, way funnier than I could ever be. Yes. So you need a character that is intrinsically funny to do something for you. Like, I'm not just going to do a character because the character has a, you know, a funny voice. Okay, I will yeah. sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, uh, okay. but your character needs to give you something. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, three weeks ago, he comes out and he goes about the Noah and his ark and um, the climate change. Yes. So, and again, I'd love to hear... Danny's take on, um, on, on Apple. Yeah. So it's like, well, uh, you know, God foretold it. God foretold it. And Adam and Eve were in the garden. And Adam and Eve and God said, don't touch the apple. <laughs> Do not touch the apple. But Eve, God bless her, she was only a woman, so she didn't know what she was doing. Didn't she bite into the apple? <laughs> and God said that's the end of the world. No original scene has been created. And that's because if you look at your mobile telephones now and turn them around, you will see that there's an apple there and a gigantic bite <laughs>